I got into radio when I was 14. I used to listen to Radio 1 every morning before I went to school and became obsessed with radio, Sarah Cox. Yeah, I just kind of thought, I want to do that. I really want to get into radio. It seems fun. She sounds like she's having a great time. She gets to play music every morning and entertain people. And yeah, I got the bug for it. When I was at school, uh, the week that you get to do work experience, I got the chance to go to my local radio station, CFM in Carlisle, and I did two days there. And they let me sort through the CDs and I would go into the radio station and, and watch over the presenters do their thing. And um, yeah, from that, I kind of got on really well with the guys that worked at the radio station. And then from that, I, um, found out that there was a job going at the radio station and I was a little bit older by this point, I was 16, and um, I called them up and I said, I heard there's a job going, can I have a job at the radio station as a presenter? And they said yes, which I was really shocked by. When I was 18, I went to university in Liverpool and I got involved with the university radio station there, hosted my own dance show on a Friday afternoon, thought I was Annie Mack uh, playing techno at 4pm, which I don't really think was probably the right thing to do, but um, I absolutely loved it. When I was 21, 22, I moved to Leeds and um, really wanted to get into radio there, but didn't know anyone in the industry there. I randomly got into Capital in a really random kind of way. So I was in a band and BBC Introducing interviewed me in the band at BBC York. And I went in and sang because um, we were I was with the band. And the girl who interviewed me, I got on really well with. And I got chatting to her. She gave me a lift back home, which me being cheeky said, can I have a lift rather than get in the train? She agreed. I got chatting. I said to her, I really want to get into radio. I don't know anybody in Leeds. And she said that she knew someone at Capital. She'd met them the week before at a house party. Do I want his email address? So I said, yes. Emailed him, pestered him for about a year and eventually got in at Capital. And then worked there for six years, doing breakfast, drive time, Capital London and then last year I left and I entered the Radio 1 Christmas cover competition and there was 33 people that got the chance to host on Radio 1 and I was one of them and I covered for Annie Mack. That's where the Radio 1 journey began. I um, covered for Annie, then covered for Danny, then covered for Annie again and then got a job on a Friday night which is, it's been a bit of a whirlwind but that's been my journey and uh, it's taken it's taken about, well, since I was 14 to really crack it, but I finally got the dream job. So my presenting style is lots of energy, quite commanding. I like, I want to sound commanding. I want people to trust in what I'm telling them on the radio because I'm talking about music and it's new music. Um, and I want them to come to me every week because they trust what I'm telling them. My personality is I'm, I'm quite a loud, bubbly kind of person, so I, I bring that to my show. It's on a Friday night, and I think the, the Friday night vibe on Radio 1 has always been quite commanding and lots of big energy because it's dance music. So if you're presenting dance music, you tend to need to have a lot of energy behind your voice. Um, and I've taken kind of inspirations from People like Annie Mack, who you really trust what she says on air. She has that real authority about her voice. So I try and incorporate that in my presenting. But also, I love the styles of seeing Nick Grimshaw and Chris Moyles, who are really fun. They're more daytime presenters, but they bring that kind of human, fun side of radio. And that's what I want to bring, and I always try to bring to my radio show is that human connection. I want people to listen to me and feel like they can be friends with me and go on a night out with me, but also I can show them music that they've never heard before. I want people to feel like that I'm making this music accessible and they can be my friends. So bringing fun on, on air into my radio show is a massive part um, of my kind of radio style.